Hello everyone and happy Friday. I feel like I am slightly late to this tag but I really enjoy watching it and I really wanted to do it myself. Today I'm going to be doing the mid-year book freakout tag. Get down, get down, get down. This tag is basically just to kind of go over some books that you read, your favorites, your least favorites. So I tried to make it to where I didn't repeat myself with any of these questions. Why? Why? First question is the best book that you've read in 2021. I've been going back and forth between two books, but I settled on Two Lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver. This book follows a woman named Lydia that loses her true love, Freddie, in a car accident, and it's basically just a book about grief and someone trying to get back to normalcy after losing someone so close to you. This book tackles grief very realistically and it definitely brings the family dynamics into it as well. After reading this book, I immediately wanted, well after listening to this book, I immediately wanted to re-listen to it, actually read it physically, and I really, really enjoyed it. It's been on my mind ever since I have read it. The best sequel that you read so far in 2021. I actually haven't read too many sequels, and a lot of the sequels that I have read, I'm very meh. The one that I could think of right away was Three Keys by Kelly Young. This is the sequel to Front Desk of the Three Keys series. There is one more book coming in September, which I'm so excited for. Can't really say too much about this without uh, giving away spoilers about the series and stuff like that. But it just brings everything from the first book that was so great and makes it even somehow greater in the second book and just continues to make you love all the characters and root for them and I just love this series so much. It's a fantastic middle grade. Highly recommend. A new release that you haven't read yet but that you'd like to. So I have two for this one. I have Near the Bone by Christina Henry. So this book is usually not the kind of book that I would really gravitate for gravitate towards. It is a horror. I actually haven't read too many. I think the only one I can actually think of is Coraline. I have read mysteries and thrillers and stuff, but I wouldn't necessarily consider this horror. This follows a woman who is, I think, trapped in, in the mountains with someone named William who she cannot make angry or else bad things will happen. And in these mountains, she soon discovers that, she, that they are not alone in these mountains, that there's something out there making horrible noises out at night. It has teeth, it has claws. I really don't know how to explain the synopsis because the synopsis is very vague. It sounds really creepy, but I really want to read it. The second one is West with Giraffe by Linda Rutledge. This is a historical fiction that is inspired by a true story. It is set during the Great Depression, I believe. Basically, it follows Woodrow Wilson Nickel. Giraffes are almost extinct, and after a hurricane, these two giraffes surprisingly survive. Basically, he then goes to take them to the San Diego Zoo. It's inspired by true events, so I think that also makes it very intriguing to me. Most anticipated release of the second half of this year. I honestly don't have too many. I don't usually keep an eye on newer releases. I just randomly go onto Goodreads and search until I find a book that interests me. So I don't usually keep up with things like that. But after thinking about it, I did remember that the second book, that the sequel for The Inheritance Game, I believe it's called The Hawthorne Legacy, will be coming out very soon, which I'm very excited about because I really did enjoy the first book. I thought it was very intriguing and very mysterious. It's basically like this whole book where the characters are trying to solve a giant puzzle and it's just very, it's very interesting. Basically the first book is where this girl uh, is basically given the inheritance of someone that she never knew despite the fact that this person has many other grandsons and many other family members that he could have given it to so it's kind of strange and so basically she's trying to uncover why this inheritance was given to her. The biggest disappointment of this year and I know so many people are going to be not too happy with this but that is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I am so looking forward to this book. I heard so many great things. This is why I don't normally want to read hyped up books because it scares me because I a lot of times don't like it as much as everyone else. This one I DNF'd I think 40% of the way through. The format I think just wasn't for me which I think is the main reason why other people don't like this book. The book is basically an interview format. It follows this band from the 70s. Basically is just a whole interview of how they came to be, their story as a band, and the reason that doesn't work for me is because it feels very one-dimensional 
it doesn't have much depth to it that way. I like being able to imagine the scene in my head. I like to be able to imagine the environment and with that you're just giving words. This is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened. I did this because this and this and this. I just didn't, I just didn't, I just didn't like the format and I also did not like any of the characters. I actually really despised all the characters and it just made me not want to read it because every character just irked me and then didn't like the format so I saw no point in continuing on to listen to it uh, so I DNF'd it. The biggest surprise of this year was When Stars Are Scattered by... always forget... <laughs> by Victoria Jameson and Omar Muhammad. This follows the true story of Omar Muhammad and his brother Hassan. They are Somali refugees and it is basically their life in this refugee camp. It's basically this story about this boy who was given this opportunity to kind of change his and his brother's future. Very intriguing and very emotional and a very important read. I definitely recommend the audiobook because it has sound effects, it has a full cast, it is amazing. Number seven is favorite new author and this can be a new author that just debuted this year or a new author to you. And that author is Kelly Young. She is the author of the Front Desk series, the Front Desk Three Keys, and then she has wrote Parachutes and then a few others that I have not yet read that I really want to. But I loved all of her books that I read this year and they were all some of my favorites. I love how all of her books have a underlying important message to them. She also has these very lovable, likable characters. Number eight is newest fictional fictional crush and I don't have anything for this one. I, I don't think I even have a fictional crush at all. Nine is newest favorite character so this one goes to Helene from the Ember of the Ashes series by Sava Tahir. Helene is the one who saved this series for me personally. It's the only reason I kept reading this series. I think the only thing that I kind of dislike about her character is her relationship with one character. But I really enjoyed how complex her character was and how flawed she was. A book that made you cry. I have three for this one because I get emotional pretty easily. And none of these I can actually tell you what made me cry or else there will be spoilers. So the three books are When Stars Are Scattered by Victoria Jameson and Omar Muhammad and then Parachutes by Kelly Young and then Crooked Stars Promise by Aaron Hunter. I guess the only thing I can tell you is that when stars, were, when stars Were Scattered and Crooked Stars Promise I was crying because I just couldn't believe certain things were happening to characters and then Parachutes was more of an angry type of cry. A book that made you happy and this I don't know if people would definitely would consider it a book. Adulthood is a Myth by Sarah Anderson. Yes, Sarah Anderson. It is a collection of comics, basically. It's just very funny, cute, humorous. I really enjoyed all three of them. Number 12 is the most beautiful book that you bought this year or received. I have not yet received any books. The only book that I have bought myself is Stowed Away because it creeps me out. So this book I bought for a video that will be coming out soon but that is doll bones by holly black this is a book that is a doll ghost story pretty much the back says my name my name is eleanor kirk kirkner kirk you, know, you can call me the queen i died in 1895 now it's time to play this is the only book that i bought this year the only books that i will automatically buy is from lee bardugo and aaron hunter warriors books <laughs> The final question is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? So many that I want to read. I want to finish the Warrior series and get completely caught up with it. I am currently reading The Forgotten Warrior. I also want to finish the Wayward Children series. I really want to read all the Twisted Tale books where they take basically a question. Like one for Frozen is what if Anna and Elsa never met I believe. I just really want to read all of them. There's quite a bit. I like the what ifs kind of stories. But there are so many other books that I want to get to this year that I hope I can, but we'll see. Those are all the questions. Uh, tell me what your guys' favorite book so far has been this year. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next Friday.